When people hear about routers for service providers and data centers, they imagine huge, powerful devices that take up tons of rack space and consume tons of power. And when we talk about the ASR 9000, it's true. There are large modular chassis like 9906, 9910, 9922, but also the ASR 9000 series has compact systems that can be used in many cases, especially when you don't have enough power or space in a rack or we just don't need a big chassis for our business purposes. In 2021, the ASR9000 portfolio has been expanded with two new compact systems, the ASR9902 and ASR9903. Both are based on the latest fifth-generation network processor, provide high performance, port speed variability, and have a very compact form factor. Today we will talk about the smallest of them, ASR9902, and then, in the second part, we will look into ASR9903. Hello, my name is Alexey Babaitse. This is the Cisco ASR9000 channel. Let's get started. So, what is ASR9902? Let's consider it in detail. The ASR9902 is a new compact router in the ASR9000 portfolio. It occupies just two rack units in a rack, the depth is only 482 mm, and it has very good capacity, supporting up to 800 gigabit per second throughput. It comes with redundancy, it supports redundant RP, power supplies and fans. The ASR9902 is a very flexible system. It supports a wide range of port speeds, 1 gigabit, 10 gigabit, 25 gigabit, 40 gigabit and 100 gigabit. In addition, the ASR9902 is equipped with iOS XR, which means it supports the same feature set as other ASR9000 routers. You can combine different features and services on the same router with a high level of multi-server scaling. For flexible integration with optical networks, the ASR9902 supports OTN and coherent ZR Plus optics. This compact router is 5G ready, with advanced synchronization capabilities including class C timing. Also, line rate MAXSEC is supported on all ports. Another important feature of the ASR9902 is a very good power savings and energy efficiency. If you look at the front panel of 9902, you can see two route processors for redundancy and the line card, which is integrated into the chassis. Such a type of system is called fixed chassis because it doesn't have slots where you can install port adapters or port expansion cards. But despite the fixed line card design, 1902 has a very good port capacity. Many port options are available. ASR1902 is served by two fifth generation NPUs, and each NPU represents one port group. You can see that all ports are distributed between two port groups, and each port group can be configured independently. A very important capability of this platform is how flexible it is from the port options perspective. You can have 16 10 gigabit or 25 gigabit ports and 24 10 gigabit ports with native OTN support. Also 800 gigabit ports are available. Six of them are regular 100 gigabit QCP28 based ports, but the other two are dual purposes ports. They support QCP28 or QCP DD optic. It means you can install the R Plus coherent optic and configure a 100 gigabit DWDM channel on these ports. What port configuration options are available on 9902? Each port group includes 400 gigabit ports, 8 dual rate 1025 gigabit, and 12 10 gigabit ports. And because the maximum throughput is 400 gigabit per port group, there are four configuration options you can enable per each port group. You can configure four 100 gigabit ports or two 100 gigabit plus 20 10 gigabit ports or two 100 gigabit plus four 25 gigabit plus 10 10 gigabit ports or two 100 gigabit plus eight 25 gigabit ports. Using combination of these options on different port groups you can get very flexible port configuration options on the router. 
From the hardware design perspective, ASR 1902 has very simple but very efficient design. In this picture you can see all hardware components of 1902, two route processors, the fixed board, power supply modules and fan modules. Fixed board looks like a regular line card and it has two network processors, CPU, switching fabric, Phi ASICs and optic cages. Each NPU is connected to the fabric to provide 400 gigabit bandwidth per port group. The brain of the router is a route processor. 1902 route processor has a very compact size, but at the same time it has everything that a modern route processor should have today – a powerful CPU and a good amount of memory. Almost all ports that are available on other route processors of the ASR 9000 series can be found on 1902 as well. It has a console port, auxiliary port, management ports, the external USB port is also available on the faceplate. You can also see timing related interfaces to bits ports and GPS interface that actually consist of three ports, 1 PPS, 10 MHz and time of the day. ASR1902 supports AC or DC power supply options. Up to two 1.6 kW power supplies can be installed for redundancy. The cooling system includes three fan modules per box and two plus one redundancy is supported. Chassis has front-to-back airflow. Now let's talk about use cases and in which roles customers could use ASR 1902. The most popular applications for compact feature-rich router can be traditional SP use cases like peering, distributed BNG and provide a range router to consolidate business and residential customers. Also ASR 1902, like other ASR 9000 routers, can be used as a VCI gateway to provide interconnect between data center VXLAN fabric and SIGMIT routing based core network using eVPN as a control plane protocol. Compact DCI gateway can be highly demanded in 5G networks because 5G architecture requires plenty of micro data centers deployed as close as possible to subscribers to provide low latency services. Enterprise customers can use the system as a van edge or van core router. You can see that the new compact ASR 1902 router can be very successful for different roles and different market segments. So, this was a brief overview of the ASR 1902. Next time we will look at another compact router of the ASR 9000 family, ASR 1903. Thank you for watching our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.